Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to give you an update to my no buy. If you didn't see my original no buy video, I decided to do a no buy in seven different categories uh, for the months of January, February, and March 2022. So this is my update as far as the first two months of January and February. So um, the seven categories were face cleansers, which includes you know any type of face wash, Face moisturizers, again, includes any type of, you know, any lotion, oil, etc. Eye cream, eye products. The fourth one was serums. Fifth was bar soaps. Number six was body moisturizers, again, of all forms, lotion, oil, etc. And the seventh was any type of shampoo or conditioner, hair wash products. So, now I'm going to tell you how I've been doing two months in. I have been doing very well. This is probably going to be quite a short video when you hear what I have purchased in the last two months. So I did purchase one beauty item in January and actually I haven't gone to the Credo store which is in Boston that's the closest one to me. I haven't been there for either never or for years so it's been a super long time if I've ever even been in it. Um, oh there's Tommy. They love to just be around when I'm filming. <laughs> anyway, so I knew I was going to be right near it and I wanted to, I've been wanting to buy myself a foundation. Right now, as my foundation, I use the Babo Botanicals. It's like a type of sheer um, sunscreen or like a tinted sunscreen. And that's what I use for my foundation. I do not own any foundation. I did have a really like over five years old like BB cream at one point, but I tossed that, I think at the end of 2021, because it was just not right anymore. So I wanted to get um, a professional there to help me pick out the right color. So I spent $51 on this product at Credo when I went in January. And this is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen. So knowing that I was getting pretty low on the Babo Botanicals, tinted sunscreen, I wanted to buy this little product as my kind of upgrade once I finish that. So this is what it looks like. And as you may recall, this is not something that was on my no buy because I don't even own any foundations. So now I do, <laughs> or I guess this is a super serum skin tint SPF 50. Hope that doesn't mean it falls into the serum category. I don't think so because this is going to be used um, basically as like my foundation SPF. So I haven't opened it yet. I'm waiting until I finish the Babo one in full and then I'm going to open this. So I'm really excited. They, ha they had me, they tested it on my skin and helped me pick the color. The color I got is ST9 Paloma. Skin tint number nine, I imagine that's what it stands for. <laughs> So yeah, I am really excited for this and I feel felt pretty good about the purchase. So in the month of January, that was the only beauty product I purchased and it was $51. In February, I got two different, I did two different beauty purchases. One was makeup spatulas. I got these from Amazon. And the reason I got these little guys was because I wanted to be able to scrape out products when I, as I finish them. Because, you know, I've noticed with some of my glass bottles, once you're done with the product, there's still a lot left in there. You can normally, when I finish your product, I'll turn it upside down, like in a old vessel that I have, like an old, um, some like old little jar or something. I have a whole bunch of them that I use. And so I'll turn the product upside down and let it drip for like a few days, see what I can get. And I was feeling like I wasn't getting that much out. So I really wanted specifically this little one. And I did a lot of research on different um, spatulas. A lot of, like, I, I know there's the, I don't remember the name of it. It's like, a, it has some name. I'll put it at the bottom here. This, it's like the Spatty or something like that. Um, but I was reading reviews and they weren't that great. So I went to Amazon. I read a lot of different reviews because there's a lot of knockoffs and different products. And I really like these so far. So this came with four spatulas. I, ha as you can see, I haven't even used some of them. I haven't really had like a huge, um, need for these big ones. So just, I think they say this is about like 12 inches 
and that's what it looks like on on this end and it's just like that on that end so there's actually two large ones that I guess these would be good for like really big shampoo or conditioner bottles and then they have this one and just for a size comparison that's the difference between the purple and the green and this is like I said the one I really wanted for my makeup um not only for like lip gloss I was able to shove this into my um uh tower 28 lip gloss but what I didn't realize was if you look at the tower 20 lip gloss, it's wider here, like at the top and then it like narrows. So I like shoved it in there and I was able to just push down around the edges, but then like getting it out, I was like, Burr. so just a warning, um, be careful and don't go by just like the top most part, make sure you look down. <laughs> um, because that one doesn't have a stopper, but it has like its own stopper in a way. Um, and you know what, in reality with that product, I scraped it all down on the sides and then it looked like so much different. I'll try to post the pictures here if I have them of how it looked before and how it looked after, but then it all like, after like a day, it like materialized back to how it was. So I didn't really think it was like that in the end. I don't think I'm going to put it back in there after knowing, especially that it was like challenging to get out. But anyways, I used this on like a live botanical um, like a glass jar, like I think it was like 1.7 fluid ounces, like a little bit of a taller one to get all the leftover like face cream and stuff. And I was able to get a decent amount. It just makes me feel better that I'm not dumping some of the product down. So again, this is, this is the smallest one and that's what the spatula looks like. And for like a size comparison of my hand, it's about the length of like from the base of my hand to my middle finger. And I don't, I don't know, I have like typical size hands, <laughs> whatever that is, who knows. My hands aren't like big or anything. Um, so these makeup spatulas, or they're probably not all for makeup, but these little spatulas were $6.35 on Amazon. And then my final purchase was a set of makeup brushes from Sigma. Um, or I'm sorry, not Sigma, from Morphe. I wrote down Sigma, but it was actually Morphe. I think that's how you say it. Um, my friend is a makeup uh, makeup artist and I asked her for a recommendation of um, a simple set of makeup brushes and kind of like a beginner set. So we looked through a few and she helped me decide on this one. Um, I, my, my mom also got one, so we got two and I had a 20% off coupon. So my set of makeup brushes cost $30.60. So, that isn't even like a beauty product. So in reality, you know, the only thing that would really f fall into a beauty product in my January and February purchasing was this and it's um, a makeup product. But the other two are like tools, you know, like the spatulas and the makeup brush. And I can't show you the makeup brushes. I just ordered them on the last day of February and they're not in yet. And I checked the tracking and they don't know when they're gonna be in. So I'm like, I'm just gonna film the video. Definitely put a photo, of course. I think would have already put it up. <laughs> um, Hey everyone, I actually did receive the brushes, so I just wanted to briefly show you what I got. So this is the bag it came in, and these are the brushes, and basically comes with eight brushes, and there's a tapered powder brush, a flat buffer brush, a contour brush, mini buffer brush, pointed blender brush, oval fluff brush, angled brow and spoolie brush, detail liner brush and a faux leather zipper bag. These are the brushes. So I just wanted to show you them. Since I did get them, actually I got the package right after I filmed. So I thought I could just show you a little bit what they looked like. Like I said, with the 20% off coupon with shipping, actually we didn't have to pay for shipping because my mom and I both got one, but they came to like about $31 each or so. So that is the brush set that I got. You know, that leaves me with spending 51 in January and approximately $37 in February on anything beauty makeup related. So that is awesome. I definitely did not buy anything in my no buy categories. No face cleansers, no moisturizers, no eye creams, no serums, no bar soap, no body moisturizers, no shampoo and conditioner. So that's awesome. Um, I do receive Beauty Heroes monthly. So um, in January, I did get that Ayuna Terra Viva um, 
it could be used as a serum or a moisturizer. So that would fall into like the no buy. Um, and the, I got in February, I got Earthwise Beauty and that was um, a serum and their face balm. And then for March, I just got the Activist mask serum and edible like honey to eat so but I didn't I'm not counting my beauty hero subscription in my purchasing my no buy is associated with what I'm actively buying versus what I'm receiving from beauty heroes that's kind of like just the way I made it for myself so yeah that's where I'm at I'm really happy I it's definitely been challenging to especially when those gift with purchases come out from credo and detox market because they have come out but I just look at them and I just I'm like I don't need more stuff in my collection. I'm working on using and lessening my numbers and just not purchasing. So that is good. So that is my update. I hope you are happy to come along for the ride. And what I'm going to do is continue my no buy through March and then check in either towards the end of March or maybe beginning of April about what I'm going to be doing about my no buy. Am I going to stop it, you know, at the end of March? because I only did set it up for three months, or am I going to extend it? And if I'm going to extend it for how long? So I will definitely do a video in about like a month or so. Let me know if you're doing a no buy, if you've ever considered it, or if you're doing a low buy or something of you know, that type and any thoughts or comments you have, I would definitely love to hear them. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button. And I look forward to talking to you soon and I hope you have a great day, bye.